morning everybody i made it to uh buena vista and uh back with my friends here first night in the minivan there's little olive waiting for mumu and naja to wake up <laughs> she's patiently waiting first night in the minivan and it was fine it well there yeah I was happy to be back in my bed. I hadn't been in my on my mattress in a while. Um, and that part was good. But I have to figure out all of these um, window coverings. I'm using the ones for my van, which, you know, it's a bit larger. And actually, I thought they'd be way too big. But really, they're these are too big the side windows but the the windshield is about the same size and my windshield just seems so enormous but apparently not maybe it's just how it's angled or what or how you sit um but yeah i have to figure all that out because i was trying to use the um emergency blankets and magnets and clips and i was going to use my my blackout curtain that I usually have uh, behind my bed in the van between me and the uh, the doors on the back with the rod. I was going to try to use that in here and it didn't work out. So I took those off and put them on the back side. Um, you know, these the windows are tinted, which is nice. But um, if you turn on a light inside, it you know, might as well not be tinted. And also, it lets all the light in still, too, obviously. So I need to block out that sunlight or else Olive is just up at the crack of dawn like this morning. It'd be nice to get a little more sleep. <laughs> but hey, it's a minivan. We're trying to trying to figure it out. So we're happy to be here, happy to be with our friends. And um, it's a beautiful place, Buena Vista. It's got amazing rock formations I'll show you more of. Um, there is a little bit of smoke here, but not nearly as bad as where we came from. And the weather is perfect compared to where we came from. <laughs> they all say it gets hot during the day, but I think what they mean by hot is like 80, you know, five degrees maybe for a couple of hours. I We can handle that. We just won't be sitting in the minivan in those, the hottest part of the day. We won't be hiding under one of these little tree type things. It's really good to be here. I'm, I'm glad um, I chose to come this direction and be with my friends. I can't imagine, you know, like, well, I mean, I can imagine it, but it just wouldn't be too much fun to uh, to camp in a minivan for the first time in a new vehicle we're not familiar with and uh, go somewhere where some place to camp um, that would have been closer, but totally unfamiliar with it it just it would have been a little bit stressful i think so this just feels right it feels good and uh yeah happy me and the girls are hanging out in the shade here oh mumu's got a treat she's working <laughs> and olive has been very respectful of mumu's treat She's a good girl. Oh, I said your name, yes. We're camped right over there, and there is Turtle Rock, and we're on the rock next to Turtle Rock. <laughs> Much smaller and easier to climb. Sorry for the nighttime filming, but I just was going to show you my little salad. Back in uh, Grand Junction, there was a community garden in the neighborhood I stayed in, and they gave all these tomatoes away for free. I guess, you know, when they, they come, they just... <laughs> um, they all come at once, so too many for people. So they give them away to people. They have like a bench or a countertop right outside the garden and they put all the free stuff. 
So this is basil that came from their garden, um, a few different types of tomatoes. And then I went and bought fresh mozzarella. And uh, then I had some olive oil. And yeah, that's my, ooh, <laughs> there you go. That's my dinner for tonight. Beautiful though, isn't it? On a warm summer night, perfect. Too bad there's so much smoke. That's an amazing view. Yeah. Smoky Colorado. This is the Cottonwood Pass. Mm. And a little lake full of cows. <laughs> 12,100 feet. We're high up there. We're at the snow level. Pretty much above the tree line. Again, if there was no smoke, this would be still amazing, but... <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, we, we just stopped here. Yeah. We just stopped here for a second, but um, there's, a, there's a picnic area one mile ahead. Oh, okay. We are officially above the snow. It's right down there. <laughs> That's the continental. I'm out of breath. <laughs> the continental divide path goes right up there. And that's that's the snow. We got the 360 view now. You're good. You're good. Hey, <laughs> Lilo. Get out. Hey everybody, we're in Leadville and came here with Bruce so he could take care of some business. And it's just such a cool town. I wanted to see it because I don't think I'll actually be traveling up here this year, other than today. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just like the town. It's got a cool feel, cool vibe, lots of history, tons of history. Did you know that um, Leadville was known as the uh, most lawless city in the West? back in the 1800s and uh, and in 1880 it had a population of about 15,000 which is huge back then because this is a remote place and uh, I think nowadays it has about 2,500 people so if that tells you anything and uh, yeah it's a big mining area obviously um, I think I read just one of the called gulches around here they pulled about $50 million worth of uh, gold, today's equivalent. And uh, yeah, like I said, it has a lot of history. It's got a, an old uh, red light district here. And uh, yeah, a lot of the buildings are original, you know, 1890s and stuff. So just a cool place that I'd check in with you. Maybe I can show you a few shots of some of the buildings and stuff around here. Olive, come over here. No dogs. I say yes, dogs. <laughs> Last time I was here in Leadville, it was, I think, July, a couple of years ago. And uh, it was snowing while we were here. At least one of the times I was here. Kind of a rainy, frozen, snowy ick mix. <laughs> An ick mix. And, uh, but you can see just in the mountains above us, there's plenty of snow still right now. And I think it can pretty much snow here any, um, any month of the year. So gotta be prepared. <laughs> San Francisco meets Alaska or something. <laughs> oh, look at these. I forget what these are called. Pretty though. Because a lot of these houses, these um, very ornate, very colorful, they're all over this town, like this one over here. And it kind of reminds me of the Victorian houses in San Francisco. 
the big painted ladies, but these are much smaller versions of that. And then you see other houses are, are, and buildings are just like weird shacks that you would expect to see in Alaska. It's different. <laughs> this tiny little shack of a house, but it's adorable how nicely they uh, redid it and it's for sale. I wonder just how small it is. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty small, but it's got like a building behind it, too. It's got such unique character here. Some really cool old churches. Wow. There must be a synagogue across the street from a church, the church because uh, there's stars of David on top of the steeples. <laughs> Maybe you don't call them steeples if it's a synagogue. But this is the kind of thing that makes me think of Alaska. You know, just like weathered old wood buildings, metal roofs. Interesting. Look at the daisies. I love daisies. And look at these. These huge golden poppies. So pretty. Orange poppy. And some more yellowy ones. Lots of daisies. These are hops, aren't they? Yeah, pretty sure that's for beer, hops. Neat. So it's a smoky mess here in Colorado, still. And uh, I think the storms are coming in, which is probably a good thing. Not the wind so much, but the rain would be good. And temperatures are down a bit, so sitting here waiting for the rain to come anytime now um yeah this place well the entire western half of the country needs a lot a whole bunch of rain so hopefully we get some today <laughs> so i cannot tell what's a storm cloud and a or a smoke cloud or i don't even know it does look like it's a little bit clearer towards the mountains which that's a good thing but I still don't smell anything. There are warnings about air quality, which uh, is to be expected. And uh, I, I'm just happy to be in, in cooler weather, especially today because the sun really hasn't been out much. It's quite cool and I'm enjoying that. I heard back today from uh, the dealership, the mechanic, and they got some of the parts in. They got the important parts in. I mean, they're all important, I suppose. But the reason why I cannot drive my van right now, those parts, to fix that, those parts came in. <laughs> so now they just have to find time to do it. So hopefully my, that means my van will be done soon. And I uh, can return the minivan, <laughs> which has actually been... Really, I mean, I'm thankful that I had it because if I had to just have a car, <laughs> not sure, probably couldn't have slept in it. Uh, not very well, anyways. The minivan is actually quite large. It's, um, I mean, <laughs> not not to not to live in for me personally, 
But to camp in, the minivan actually has a lot of room. So I'm not gonna make any more negative comments about the minivan. Thankful for the minivan. And then, that'll be awesome. If my van is drivable again. And it's actually probably gonna all work out pretty well because the, uh, the roadside assistance uh, insurance stuff only pays for a certain amount of days for the uh, rental and that should all kind of line up I think and then also when I'll have to go back to Grand Junction to pick it up it should be a bit cooler it's supposed to be cooler kind of everywhere which is a good thing because it's been quite hot but it'll it all kind of seems like it might be working out you know kind of coming together which is great and then I get to continue on to the place where I I planned to go, which was Silverton and Durango and those kind of areas. We just came up 2,000 feet for this view. Although not as amazing as it could be since all the smoke. Still pretty cool though. It's kind of ominous with those clouds. I think some of those are actually storm clouds though. Some of it's smoke, some of it's storm clouds. Look at them snuggling in the seat. <laughs> that's, pies. that's cute. We had a little picnic on top of the mountain and now it's starting to rain. <laughs> so apparently these aren't all smoke clouds. All of you taken off? Olive, get out of there. Go, uh, uh, come on. Outside. Not scared of a little rain, are you? Yes. <laughs> She's not delicate. Back here there's a view of I don't know what the valley is called, but where Buena Vista and uh Salida are. So that was fun. <laughs> Back in the side by sides to uh find more adventure. We are out for a wheeling <laughs> and it is raining and that rain is cold and the wind is blowing. Yeah, this is interesting. Something new. So, um, Mumu went into the tracker. <laughs> Mumu went in the tracker because Mumu's a little delicate. Olive is a sturdy girl. She, Olive loves being wet. She loves the water. Mumu hates it. <laughs> so, Olive's going to... Uh, She's gonna, she's gonna brave, brave the, the weather with us. Mumu's too much of a princess. She sure is. She's delicate. Poor little Olive. Aww. So pitiful. <laughs> At least it's not raining as hard though. Yeah. Olive, did you get wet? Did you get wet? Did you get rained on? Are you cold? Are you snuggled inside your blankie? <laughs> I think she's just tired now. Yeah, she's falling asleep. Oh, here comes the rain again. It's a rainy day. 